I'll be showing the new integration between Microsoft Teams and Blackboard. This includes LTI for class teams and Teams meetings. Now, first off, we're going to assume that your IT admin has already set up the courses. There's a support page here that shows you exactly as an IT admin, how to set up LTI, get it installed and make it available for your instructors. And we have document pages for both the class teams as well as meetings right here. We'll switch back to Blackboard. I'm here in Blackboard Ultra and I'm gonna to go to my new Biology 101 class and I'm gonna go in here. And now by default, I land in this content area. And these are the different pieces on the left-hand side that I have to interoperate with. Now you're gonna see here, because Teams was added to my course with the IT admin, there's this Enable Microsoft Teams. And I'm gonna click this. This gives me a dialog that says, sync your course with Microsoft Teams. And this is gonna take my class roster and automatically sync it with a team and create a new class team that is associated with this course. So I'm gonna click sync with Microsoft Teams right here. Now it says setting up Teams. I'm gonna jump ahead to a team that I've already set up in my chemistry area. So we'll go into chemistry here. And here is my Microsoft Teams course and it is ready to open up. So I will click open Microsoft Teams. And this is this LTI Teams component. Now what you see here is the chemistry class team that was created with this team with all of the roster ready to go. All of my activity bell notifications will show up here if I have new notifications. I can send a post directly to chemistry. So if I click this, it's gonna open up a small post dialog and I can make it a little bigger. And I can do things like bold it and I can change the colors like this. And I'm gonna send this message into my class team. I'll hit send. And I can view it right there directly with this link if I want. I will close this dialog. Now I'm gonna click open to drill into that team. And there's the message, can't wait for our chemistry course. So that's the post that I just made. Now this team won't actually be activated to let students into it until I click the activate button right here at the top. So it says six students are waiting to join and I'm gonna click activate. And that kicks off the process. I'll click this button here. Now it's activating. Your team is now active, hit okay. Now students who are in my Blackboard course can easily join into this team and we'll switch back here. And I'm gonna close this dialogue. Next up, I'm gonna show Teams Meetings integration with Blackboard Ultra. I'll go down here and I'm gonna say, View Course and Institution Tools under this Books and Tools. Click this. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see all the different LTI apps that were added. And the IT administrator made Microsoft Teams Meetings available to me as an instructor, and I'll click this. This loads up the Meetings component for Teams right here in Blackboard Ultra. Now you can see there's been a set of meetings that were already set up some every other day it looks like. And I can create channel meetings or I can create one-off meetings. So first off I can click new meeting here. And let's say I wanna create a one-off meeting. So we'll call this one-off meeting, just a one-time thing. What's nice is with the integration with LTI, I click add entire class and it adds all the students from my class right here. So I can set a time, I can give details. So this is just a single meeting and it'll send a meeting request to all these students. So I'll hit send. And now you can see that one off right here in my calendar list. Now the other nice thing is we've recently added channel meeting support. So this makes it really easy for your channel in a team to have a meeting that's regularly recurring, students are automatically added if they join your class. You don't have to do anything other than have that regular channel meeting. So I'll click new meeting here. And we'll call this office hours. And I'm not gonna add required attendees. Instead, I'll say add channel. So this pulls up all my teams. I'm gonna open chemistry and put this in the general channel. And we'll show how this looks in Teams meetings as well. So this is my office hours and I'm gonna have it repeat. We're gonna make it daily, hit save, and we're gonna make this happen at 4 p.m. to 4.30 every day. So I will hit send. Now you see the office hours meeting shows up here at four o'clock and it's every day, you can see it there. Now I can go here and actually go and choose to chat or copy the link or change the meeting options. What I'm gonna do though is go into Teams and show how to access that channel meeting really easily directly from in Teams. So we'll go back to chemistry here. And there's the office hours meeting. It shows up right in the post channel. And this is happening any old time I wanna open this as a student. I open up the channel meeting, it's happening daily, and I can just hit join. 
and then I can join the meeting just like I would a normal Teams meeting. We'll cancel this. And I'll flip back into Blackboard Ultra. If I want to change the dates, I can easily navigate right here. I can drop this down, choose a different month, jump ahead, all the things that you'd normally see in Teams meetings. And I will close this. In addition to Blackboard Ultra, if you have the older classic version of Blackboard, we do have LTI support for that as well. It's a little more complicated to set up, but I'm showing the newest Blackboard Ultra integration with Class Teams LTI as well as Teams Meetings LTI. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.